ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट टू जीरो थ्री ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इक्वेशन इक्वेशन इज गिवेन ऑलरेडी इन इोडोज बुक सिक्स पॉइंट फोर जी फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन अ मेटल एट टी इक्वल टू जीरो एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ बी ब्रॉडली बेबे सो बेसिकली वन इक्वेशन इज गिवेन एंड दैट इक्वेशन इज बी एंड इज इक्वल टू रूट टू इन टू एम टू पार थ्री बाई टू डिवाइडेड ओवर पाई स्क्वेर इन टू एच क्यू इन टू रूट ई इन टू डी दिस इज बेसिकली एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन अ मेटल इन बिसनिटी ऑफ एन एप्सोल्यूट जीरो मीन्स एट एप्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर टी इक्वल टू जीरो right so this equation is given and with the help of this equation we have to find out number of free electron in a metal as a function of b broadly wavelength it means we have to find out b lambda from this equation as d n e is given okay so here Uh, the distribution of electron in vicinity of absolute zero is given in terms of energy this equation is already given right so if we we'll start with the expression that energy of a particle is half mv square right so differentiation of this d and e it will take differentiation d and e and differentiate this equation as well so we can write m times v into b and b right because from here we'll get de is equals to okay one second here i am committing one mistake the if e equals to half mv square okay then this intense uh, electron density variation would remain same with respect to energy or with respect to velocity yes now we will differentiate this expression so from here we will get de is equals to 2 v m into db right so we can just rewrite this term in terms of d and b density with respect to velocity or as a function of velocity so d and b can be written as Root two into m to power three by two divided by pi square into h cube into uh, this d e can be replaced by two v into m d v, right? So we can write here two v into m d v in place of d e, and this root e can be replaced by from here that if we will take root of this this is 1 over root 2 into root m into v okay so okay let me write here root e in next uh, step we'll write the, that that d and v is equals to root 2 m to power 3 by 2 over pi square into h cube into 2 m v b v and this e can be written as 1 over root 2 into m to power half into v right so if we'll collect all these terms and multiply them then 1 over root 2 1 over root 2 is cancelled out this is m to power 3 by 2 and m to power 3 by 2 including this this and this term. okay so from here we can write m cube 2 m cube and this is v square into db over pi square into h cube right so from here we have got this function that d and v is equals to 2 m cube v square db over pi square into h cube even in fact this is right let's see 
I think uh, here we have introduced one extra term to V from somewhere. Okay, Z is very differentiated, then there is 1 over 2 and this 2 and 2 are cancelled. Right, so we don't take this term. So this is our final expression for D and V. Right, now we'll come back to D Broglie wavelength. This is equation number 1. So in case of D Broglie, momentum mv is equals to 2 pi h over wavelength lambda. As we know the relation that p equals to h over lambda. Okay. So we can write in this form. So again we can differentiate here. So we will get m into dv is equals to 2 pi into h cap into minus d lambda over lambda square. Right. Yes. So, from here we may get a relation between dv and d lambda. So, this is 2 pi h over m into lambda square with negative sign into d lambda. That is value of dv. Right. So, again we can rewrite function in terms of d and lambda which we actually want to write. Okay. So, this d and lambda is equals to minus d and v. Okay. Here we are getting this uh, sense. Right. So, now we can use the same expression for this and replace this dv by d lambda in terms of d lambda. Right. So, we can write d and lambda is equals to this entire term m cube into v square over pi square into h cube and this dv can be replaced as okay let me write somewhere else okay d n lambda is equals to m cube over pi square into h cube. Okay, I am not writing v square right now. First, let's simplify first stage. And this dv can be replaced by 2 pi h upon m lambda square into d lambda. Right? Now, this v square can also be written in terms of lambda. Right. From here, if we get v, then v is equals to 2 pi h over lambda into m or we can write v square is equals to 4 pi square into h square into over lambda square into m square. Right. So, from here, we can write d n lambda is equals to m cube over pi square into h cube into 2 pi h over m into lambda square and this v square can be replaced as where this is 4 pi square into h cap square over lambda square into m square. Okay. So, from here we can see that this m cube term gets cancelled out. There is 3 power of m. Right. This h cube term will get cancelled out. This is h square into h divided by h cube. Okay. 1 pi square is removed. So, from here we will get 8 pi into lambda to power 4 into d lambda. Okay. So, the final expression what we are getting that d and lambda is equals to 8 pi over lambda to power 4 into d lambda. This is how the density of electron is changing with respect to wavelength. Okay. So, we need to perform all these manipulations very carefully. The key of this 
exercises if we are writing density in terms of energy then we need to take these terms in a term of energy then we can replace this term by equivalent terms of velocity and further we can write in terms of variance.